Can't you come do this? Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our campus. Welcome. A couple of housekeeping items we need to discuss before the ceremony. We're about 30 minutes away from getting started and we intend to be on time. If you haven't found the restrooms, they're down the corridor, men's on the left, women's on the right. We'd like to offer this opportunity to turn your cell phones off or to silence. We are streaming the video on YouTube. If you have people at home that would like to watch, simply go to William Carey University and it'll pop up when we go live. We're also streaming in two overflow rooms. The first one on the porch, out on the doors to the right. The second one will be across the street if that room fills up on the porch. This is very important. When the graduates walk in, the doors to the auditorium will close. If you leave the auditorium, you will not be allowed back in. Latecomers will also not be allowed back in. Back in. You will be asked to go to the, one of the live stream rooms where you can watch the ceremony. Well, there will be no readmittance into the auditorium. So having said that, if you need to take a bathroom break, I encourage you to do it now. If you get up and leave during the ceremony, you will not be allowed back in. Thank you.
Last call for a bathroom break, everyone. If you didn't get a chance before, you better take it now. 15 minutes, we're gonna start the ceremony. There'll be no entry after that point. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, if you're still saving seats for family and they're not here, I have to ask you to let those seats go at this time. We are at capacity and we cannot save any more seats. All seats are available. Folks, come on in.
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this joyous day, celebrating the hard work and achievement of these students. Bless them and their loved ones that have supported and encouraged them along the way. May not only the education, but also the Christian values they've obtained at William Carey University serve them well on their journey in life. In Christ's name, amen. Good afternoon. We have a full house, it seems. On behalf of the trustees, administration, faculty, and these graduates, I welcome you to the May 2018 commencement. This is the sixth consecutive year that we will graduate a record number of students in excess of a thousand students this year. This is a special time for our graduates and for all of you, their family and friends who have supported them during these years. Uh, I want to introduce, I know that we have some trustees of the university, our former trustees. If you're here, would you stand? I see Dr. Brett Ballantyne, who serves as chairman of our board of trustees. And if there are others, uh, welcome. As I said, this is a special time. It is the culmination of years of hard work, sacrifice, and dedication. And uh, we have a special request to make of you respectfully. For these graduates, many family and friends have traveled long distances, some from foreign countries, to be here today to witness their graduation. And each graduate deserves to hear his or her name call clearly and to have their moment in the spotlight. If you cheer and clap for individual graduates, that interferes with the next graduate having their name heard clearly. And so we request, we ask that you not applaud or cheer for individual graduates. When a group of graduates have all received their diploma, we'll give you all the time you want to clap and shout and cheer and um, show your support of them in any way that you like. This is not a sporting event. It's not a rock concert. It's not a Mardi Gras parade. And it's not a Trump political rally. It's a formal academic convocation. And we respectfully ask that, that all of you uh, respect the dignity of this occasion. Now, if there is someone who just does not feel that you can restrain yourself, we have an overflow room across the hall. <laughs> it's more comfortable. You can watch the ceremony on closed circuit television. And over there, you can shout and cheer and stomp all your surrounding neighbors will allow you to do so. <laughs> but we ask that you not do that here. You'll be given all the opportunity you need to cheer uh, groups of graduates. One other request, this is a, a tobacco-free campus, and uh, if you feel the strong urge to light up after the ceremony, we ask that you wait till you uh, get out on the street off our campus, please. The platform party for this afternoon <clears throat> is Dr. Scott Hommel, University Provost, Dr. Gary Breland, Vice President for Academic Affairs, who will present the candidates for degrees. Dr. Wes Dykes, Dean of the Winter School of Music and Ministry 
led the national anthem and will lead in the singing of the alma mater. Ms. Pam Shearer, Director of Alumni Relations, will welcome graduates into the Alumni Association. Dr. Tyler Hodge is a professor of uh, biology, gave the invocation. Dr. Jenna Barton, Assistant Professor of Nursing, will give the benediction. Ms. Kathy Bale is our organist. Dr. Daniel Caldwell, Professor of Religion and Chairman of the Biblical Studies Department, is the faculty marshal and Dr. Tim Glaze, director of BSU and assistant professor of religion, is the student marshal. Our speaker for this ceremony is Mr. Bill Oliver. Mr. Oliver currently serves as the president of the Forest General Healthcare Foundation in Hattiesburg after retiring as president and CEO of Forest General Hospital. During his career, he earned a CPA and fellow in healthcare financial management, was involved as CFO and COO of Emory University Hospital in Atlanta, CFO of Forest General Hospital, CFO of Baptist Medical Center in Montgomery, and other financial roles with St. Dominic Hospital and University Medical Center in Jackson. He has served with many organizations, some of which include the Mississippi Hospital Association, Pine Belt Community Foundation, AAA Ambulance Service, Southeast Mississippi Trauma Region, and many others. He is a graduate of the University of Mississippi and was the recipient of the Hub Award, which uh, rep, uh, was the recipient of the HUB Award, which results in financial assistance to both William Carey and USM. He is married to Becky and they have two sons and four grandchildren. Is Becky here, Bill? It's an honor to have Mr. Bill Oliver with us for this ceremony. And would you please join me in welcoming him to the Pope. Thank y'all. I want to first congratulate the uh, students for graduation, but more importantly, I want to uh, congratulate the students on fulfilling someone's vision. That vision may be the students, but most likely it's the parents, the grandparents, other family members. It could be teachers, it could be coaches, it could be a minister, it could be a Sunday school teacher, or just a good friend. But someone saw the potential in these individuals years ago, and their vision was the day would occur. So that is why we're here today. And what is vision? Vision is a long range picture of what may come to be. It does help us stay focused often. It does help us get through some tough challenges. Uh, but more importantly, it's not a dream. It really is why we exist versus what we want to accomplish. Now, what's the difference between a dream and vision? Um, I'll give a personal experience. I had a, in high school, I thought I was a great basketball player. And my dream was after I finished at college, I was going to go play for the Boston Celtics. You know, that dream just didn't happen. In fact, my freshman year, I quickly learned that I don't think that I could get there unless I bought a ticket to go to Boston Celtics. But that's a dream about what I want to accomplish. Later, I did create my vision for myself and my career, and that was I wanted to help others help themselves. And that's why I went into the healthcare industry. I was helping others, I thought. As a leader and a manager, I was managing over 3,000 employees at times, just hoping that we could work together on a common objective. So that again helped. It helped with family, it helped with friendship, and that vision even helped me with my spiritual faith. So that's why it was important to me. In fact, that's why I'm here today, Dr. King. He asked me, I really couldn't turn him down because I thought maybe I can come and help others help themselves. But that's what a vision's all about. Now who else uses vision? The university uses vision. It's in your bulletin. Um, the 
vision several places has key components. One, it talks about fulfilling the students' diverse callings. And that, as an outsider, I would say that's why we've added the med school, the pharmacy school, expanded some of the programs that are on board here today. So that shows a vision has been followed. 20, 30 years ago, they may not have known that was going to happen, but that vision statement allowed that growth to happen. Another component in the vision statement, which is very critical, it says to blend faith and learning with living. I can assure you minutes, days, and months after the tornado coming through, those three components were in everybody's life because these students and these faculty were having their faith challenged, having their learning experience challenged, and even their living, future living experience. But by using that vision, Dr. King, the board, the faculty, and the students, to me, have effectively brought us through that chaos. And so that's what a vision statement's for. But it's a powerful tool. Another company that I like to relate to that I think has one of the best vision statements ever, um, started in 1996, had 158 employees. Today it has over 560,000 employees. Had 180,000 customers the first year. This past year it had over 4 billion customers. It started by selling books, music, videos, appliances, clothing, footwear. Got purchased a grocery chain so it could deliver home groceries. Sells medical supplies. Can give you a stethoscope, to implants to uh, sutures, to bandages. They're talking about having a pharmacy distribution division, and they even have a device they've created to help us with artificial intelligence answer our questions every morning, like what's the temperature, what music am I gonna to listen to today? Of course, that company is Amazon. The reason I like their vision statement, they said from the beginning, they want to be the Earth's most customer-centric company. Two words, customer-centric. It didn't say they want to make a billion dollars. It didn't say they want to be the leader seller of certain supplies. They said they want to respond to the customer's needs. Think about it, in 1996, we didn't even have Wi-Fi. We, we installed our first electronic medical record at Forest Funeral that year. Uh, we hard line, hardwired every computer in that building and all along the campus of Brown. So a vision requires somebody to be thinking ahead and then adapting, to being flexible. So what I'd like to challenge the students today, the graduates really, uh, is to prepare your own vision statement. Find what you want, why you want to exist. Periodically take a look at that and make sure you're on focus, that it relates to you and it's still relevant to you and still realistic. And then I would recommend three things be done to achieve that vision. First of all, recognize your blessings. Even in the toughest times, people have blessings around them. I can assure you in this room are blessings for these students, family members, friends, supporters. We all have blessings and too often we forget or take them for granted. So remember that blessings because that will affect your vision. Secondly, embrace challenges. I wish I could tell the students that life was going to be smooth sailing from this point forward. As we all know, that's not possible. Challenges will occur throughout their careers, throughout their lives. But by accepting that challenge, we're ready to face those, but sometimes we have to use our vision to pull us through it. The tornado is a good example. That was a severe challenge, but the bottom line was a vision and leadership helped this organization get through that. So don't forget your vision. It can help you through those challenging times. And then the last thing is celebrate success. I think it's very important to do that periodically and thank yourself. You didn't just get here. You worked hard to get here as students, as family members, supporters. It didn't just happen. It really was designed. In fact, it may have been that vision that I talked about in the beginning. What I want the graduates to realize is that your vision that you see for the future today may one day be called your legacy. So remember that and make your vision a reality for the future. Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Oliver, for that wonderful challenge to our graduates and to our guests. And I thank you all for your presence here this afternoon. You have made this event possible by the support that you have given to these graduates who are on the stage today. William Carey University offers undergraduate, graduate, and professional degree programs in a variety of disciplines. This afternoon, we are awarding master's degrees and undergraduate degrees to candidates in the schools of natural and behavioral sciences and the College of Health Sciences. We recognize graduation distinctions for undergraduates by the bestowal of Latin honors. Those with a cumulative grade point average of 3.6 graduate cum laude, those with 3.8 magna cum laude, and 3.9 and no grades lower than a B, summa cum laude. These distinctions signify graduating with honor, with high honor, and with highest honor. We will also recognize students who are graduating with a perfect 4.0 uh, GPA or all A's. Before presenting the graduates, let me uh, remind you just one more time to please withhold your applause until I signal that it's time to applaud for a group. To present the candidates for degrees in natural and behavioral sciences, I recognize Dr. Frank Baugh, Dean of the School of Natural and Behavioral Sciences. Will the candidates from the School of Natural and Behavioral Sciences please stand? Dr. Breland, these candidates have completed all requirements for their respective degrees, and the faculty of the School of Natural and Behavioral Sciences recommend them to you for conferral of their degree. Thank you, Dr. Ball. Dr. King, upon the recommendation of the faculty, I present these candidates to you for the conferral of their degrees. By the authority of the Board of Trustees of William Carey University, I hereby confer upon you the degrees which you have earned with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities that throughout our world pertain thereto. Will the candidates please come forward? Ryan C. Allstadt, Bachelor of Science. Michael James Archbold, Bachelor of Science. Demetrius L. Atterbury, Bachelor of Science. Jasmine Averett, Bachelor of Science. Kira Bailey, Bachelor of Science. Keisha Barnes, Bachelor of Science. Casey Stallworth Barnett, Bachelor of Science. Pankaj Bhatta, Bachelor of Science, graduating summa cum laude. Odella Lillian Blackman, Bachelor of Science, graduating summa cum laude. Mia Ann Bridges, Bachelor of Science. Thomas Wade Bush, Bachelor of Science, graduating summa cum laude. Taylor Cannon, Bachelor of Science. Jalen Christopher Carter, Bachelor of Science. Tavares LaShawn Clark, Jr., Bachelor of Science. Jessica Ann Culpepper, Bachelor of Science. Belinda Davis, Bachelor of Science. Kara Ann Dearman, Bachelor of Science, graduating magna cum laude. Coretta Denise Duckworth, Bachelor of Science. Holly Jane Dunlap, Bachelor of Science. Emily Edwards, Bachelor of Science. Courtney Danielle Elsey, Bachelor of Science, graduating cum laude. Yasmin Shanika Fairley, Bachelor of Science. Rachel Kara Fowler, Bachelor of Science. Lovey Brianna Goler, Bachelor of Science. Kimberly Karen Gilbert, Bachelor of Science, graduating summa cum laude with a four point GPA.
Sarah Grace Golson, Bachelor of Science, graduating summa cum laude. Precious Gooden, Bachelor of Science. Leah Noel Graves, Bachelor of Science. Anna Elizabeth Gravely, Bachelor of Science, graduating summa cum laude with a 4.0 GPA. Brandon Isaac Grayson, Bachelor of Science, graduating summa cum laude. Chambrell Shante Nicole Griffin, Bachelor of Science. Hattie Shea Zuckus Harkins, Bachelor of Science. Thomas Harkins, Bachelor of Science, graduating magna cum laude. Erica Faye Young Hartwell, Bachelor of Science. Desiree Rochelle Henry, Bachelor of Science. Linda Carroll Hodges, Bachelor of Science. Jessica Suzanne Jenkins, Bachelor of Science, graduating cum laude. Layton E. Jenkins, Bachelor of Science, graduating cum laude. Justin Mikhail Johnson, Bachelor of Science. Dana Shondrika Jones, Bachelor of Science. We're going to let you applaud these graduates. Thank you. Continuing, Lindsay Michelle Knight, Bachelor of Science, graduating summa cum laude. Anaya Leonard, Bachelor the, of Science, graduating the, uh, cum laude. medallion uh, that this student is wearing represents the Jenkins Chastain Award, the highest award for a graduating student at William Carey is the Jenkins Chastain. Faculty nominate students, and then they, a special committee selects from those nominations. And we're so proud of one male student and one female student who's given the Jenkins Chastain Award each year. Congratulations. Anaya Leonard, Bachelor of Science, graduating cum laude. Catherine Ann Martin, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. Chance Mason Mathis, Bachelor of Science. Tamara Shatera Maxwell, Bachelor of Science. Melody McGee, Bachelor of Science. Kaylee Lane Miller, Bachelor of Science. Crystal Nicole Mitchell, Bachelor of Science. Jordan Mitchell, Bachelor of Science, graduating summa cum laude. Jamisha Nashea Oliver, Bachelor of Science. Melody Pelletieri, Bachelor of Science. Kristen Nicole Pipkin, Bachelor of Science. Alexis Dominique Rambo, Bachelor of Science, graduating cum laude. Sheena M. Ransifer, Bachelor of Science. Molly Elizabeth Ranshaw, Bachelor of Science, graduating cum laude. Badidra Siobhan Rhodes, Bachelor of Science. Thomas Cedar Robertson, Bachelor of Science, graduating cum laude. Brooke Ashlyn Roberts, Bachelor of Science. Matthew Romack, Bachelor of Science, graduating cum laude. Anna Carolyn Sandiford, 
Bachelor of Science graduating summa cum laude with a 4.0 GPA. Debbie Ann Shelton, Bachelor of Science. Andrew K. Sisson, Bachelor of Science. Bashante N. Smith, Bachelor of Science. Calandra Zanita Stephens, Bachelor of Science. Kristen Page Stokes, Bachelor of Science. Shelley Hembree Stringer, Bachelor of Science. Clarista Tasman, Bachelor of Science, graduating summa cum laude. Jessica Taylor, Bachelor of Science. Kaylee Marie Thomas, Bachelor of Science, graduating cum laude. Kelly Thompson, Bachelor of Science. Maurice Thornton, Bachelor of Science. Ann Nakui Tran, Bachelor of Science, graduating magna cum laude. Cynthia Nicole Waller, Bachelor of Science. Tanisha Umeka Washington, Bachelor of Science. Lauren Amber Wells, Bachelor of Science, graduating summa cum laude with a 4.0 GPA. Kyle Wilhelm, Bachelor of Science, graduating cum laude with honors in chemistry. Kyle's thesis was synthesis and characterization of self-cleaning or degreasing caulk. Nathan Alexander Wilkins, Bachelor of Science, graduating cum laude. Damian Sebus Williams, Bachelor of Science, graduating cum laude. Barry Lane Williamson, Bachelor of Science, graduating summa cum laude. Casey Woodson, Bachelor of Science. John Taliaferro Brown, Bachelor of General Studies. John Wayne Matthews, Bachelor of General Studies. Terry Mae Robinson, Bachelor of General Studies. Please congratulate these graduates. To present the candidates for degrees in health sciences and nursing, I recognize Dr. Janet Williams, Associate Vice President of the College of Health Sciences. Will the candidates from the College of Health Sciences please stand? Dr. Breland, these candidates have completed all requirements for their respective degrees and the faculty of the College of Health Sciences recommend them to you for conferral of their degree. Thank you, Dr. Williams. Dr. King, upon the recommendation of the faculty, I present these candidates to you for the conferral of their degrees. By the authority of the Board of Trustees of William Carey University, I hereby confer upon you the degrees which you have earned with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities that throughout our world pertain thereto. Will the candidates please come forward? Shannon S. Abney, Bachelor of Science, graduating cum laude. Jeanette Barnes, Bachelor of Science. Holly Muse Blaylock, Bachelor of Science. Angela Council, Bachelor of Science. 
Marilyn Madeline Denton, Bachelor of Science, graduating, soon, uh, graduating cum laude. Takitra Evans, Bachelor of Science. Megan Fairley, Bachelor of Science, graduating cum laude. Shaquilla Brown Fielder, Bachelor of Science. Shalanda Gray, Bachelor of Science. Jamie Colleen Ladner, Bachelor of Science, graduating magna cum laude. Cassius J. Leggett, Bachelor of Science. Young Lee, Bachelor of Science. Darian Lenane Matthews, Bachelor of Science, graduating cum laude. Jocelyn Oblepius Newman, Bachelor of Science. Chandra Laquita Walker, Bachelor of Science. Let's congratulate these bachelor's graduates. This next group of graduates received the Master of Science in Nursing degree. Tamisha Michelle Herbert, Master of Science in Nursing. Brian Matthew Martin, Master of Science in Nursing. Elizabeth Eileen Nicholson, Master of Science in Nursing. Lena Latoya Otis, Master of Science in Nursing. Now you may applaud these MSN graduates. <laughs> Karen L. Ard, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Alexis Brown, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Shalia L. Copeland, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Lael Alden Cawthorn, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Ashlyn Culberson, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Tiffany Gale DeVore, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, graduating summa cum laude. Kendall D. Everett, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Ashley Lauren Fly, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. William Rex Hartfield, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Henry Calvin Jones, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Lindsay Nicole Lentz, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, graduating cum laude. Thomas Blake McGill, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Angelo Luca Morales, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, graduating cum laude, and he has a second degree in Bachelor of General Studies. Angelo is the male recipient of the Jenkins Chastain Award, and we're so proud of Angelo. Angelo. Rebecca Ann O'Brien, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and also Bachelor of Science degree. Mallory Odom, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Chandler Pennington, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Ryan Schrader, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Patrick Lee Scoggin, Jr., Bachelor of Science in Nursing, graduating cum laude. Savannah Sharkey, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, graduating cum laude. You may congratulate these graduates. Let's give this group of graduates one more round of applause.
After much hard work and dedication, you've earned your William Carey University degree. Welcome to the Alumni Association. You are now part of more than 25,000 alumni worldwide. To maintain your relationship with your alma mater and your fellow alumni, I encourage you to participate in the Alumni Association. As an active member, you will be doing your part to make Cary and the Alumni Association stronger. You are Cary ambassadors, both within your profession and with prospective students. You are Cary strong. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. We have a graduation tradition to complete right now, so all of you undergraduates, you may now turn your tassels. Now, some of these graduates, especially in nursing, are already receiving a paycheck. They actually completed their degree back in February. They have good jobs. They're earning a paycheck. And we expect to see a donation in the mail to William Carey next <laughs> month. Once again, thank you for coming and showing your support of these outstanding, outstanding young people. Um, as you travel home, we uh, ask that you travel safely and enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, please remain in place for the singing of the alma mater and the benediction and then for the recession of the class. William Carey, we will love thee, loyal we will be, and we will ever sing thy praises, hail all, hail to thee, lifting high the light of knowledge, answering the clarion call, thou hast made Let us pray. Father God, in Philippians 4, 6 through 7, you command us to not be anxious, and you tell us that instead of worrying, we should pray to you, and you will give us peace. God, there may be some anxious graduates here today worried about the future, but I pray they give that to you, and they feel that peace that only you can give. Father God, as these graduates leave this room today, I pray for them to have blessed futures, rich with happiness, accomplishments, and love. I pray their foundation developed here at Cary prepares them well for the plans you have for them. I thank you that you made a way for this day to be possible for each graduate. I thank you for those who encouraged, loved, and supported them along the way. I pray each and every soul in this room feels your presence now and draws closer to you each day. I also pray that each graduate goes out into the world as a disciple to bring more people closer to you and to spread the word of your hope to others. We thank you for this day, and we thank you for our many blessings. In your precious, beautiful name we pray. Amen. Amen.